Welcome back to Comic-Con, guys. We are here at the Sideshow Toys and Hot Toys booth. Oh my god, this stuff is freaking amazing. Look at this freaking Punisher. Premium format, one-fourth scale, 18-inch statue. This is no joke. I love the way they designed this. Putting the skeleton makeup on the face. What a great, great idea. We're going to go through the whole room, guys, the whole show. So make sure to subscribe and follow if you haven't seen the other videos from Comic-Con. It is fantastic. We're waiting to see Spider-Man over here. Look at this detail, guys. Sideshow. I mean, this this might be one of the most passionate-looking Spider-Man poses and gesture pa uh, gesture statues I've ever seen. The, the motion of the gesture is amazing. Really great stuff. And they also have Neon Tech Glow in the Dark Iron Man. I just ordered mine. They were giving out those passes that you see. You had until midnight West Coast time to order it, even though we are here on the East Coast. I got my I got mine yesterday and they are sold out completely today. Really, really, really nice looking figure. I can't wait to get this. Very excited. I can't wait till it arrives. And it lights up. The whole thing is incredible. And the blue glows in the dark. Um, it's actually not really glow in the dark. You need a, a black light on it. And that's when it like really just comes to life. And wait till you see this one. This is outstanding. It's Iron Man. I think it's Mark, uh, I don't know, man, 61 or something. If I'm reading that right. Or 51. 61, I think. Jeez. Look at this. I really like this based on the concept art design, which you see over here. Where do you guys see this cool concept Captain America as well? Great face sculpt. I think they reused that face sculpt from the other Captain America. I have that one. And of course, don't forget the incredible from Wakanda, Black Panther. Oh God. Where are you going? You want to see black This one lights up as well with the black light shined on it like the Iron Man. Incredible lights, lighting effect. Where do you guys see the Spider-Man? What do you guys think about this? This is so well made. But I don't like seeing Spider-Man like not be Spider-Man. So making him like a punk rocker is weird. But the texture on this is so outstanding. That's cloth, guys. So they really do an amazing job. But my favorite is coming. Here we go. It is the Iron Spider from Infinity War. Guys, this detail, like, I've never seen anything like it before. I mean, the camera does not do it justice. It is such a metallic, deep metallic red. Um, oh my god. You guys can see the detail on this. It's amazing. 
Again, the camera is not picking up the metallic, the deep metallic sheen that this has. And it is really nice. Of course, these are hot toys in case you didn't know. This Iron Man is outstanding, but it's like over $400. And it's a 12 inch, 1 6 scale Iron Man. Looks amazing. And it, they even have like an additional parts that you can add to it for a separate fee. So I wish they could have gotten the price down, but it is huge, probably about 13 inches. And again, you cannot see on the camera the intensity of the deep metallic finish that deep it's not chrome but it's like a metallic car deep red finish beautiful and Thor this is cool the animated series they did a nice piece on this here but this this is the one that needs to be seen check that out everybody Woo. That is one heck of a nice giant statue. Again, these are probably about 16 inches each figure. Just beautifully done. And that cape is a flexible cape material with a wire inside. Wow. Rotate like that? <laughs> Actually, can you buy it or is it just like... It's price. And from the movie Aquaman, Jason Momoa, who is here today. Wow, look at that. Great, great, great sculpt on this. Of course, the Grim Fairy Tales Little Mermaid, super, super cool. Jason Scott Campbell's designs. Highly recommend getting the calendar if you didn't. Really, really nice. Tinkerbell, Disney princesses, Little Mermaid. And look at this again, huge 16 inch statues. Brand new She Hulk. Great face sculpt also on this. And here is the statue modeled after me and my awesome physique. This guy's laughing, I don't know why, I don't know what's funny, I clearly look like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get down. <laughs> Really, really, really great, 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 great sculpt here. Really looks nice. And here is Wolverine's daughter. Look at that great hand. See, the hand. Wonderful action in the face. Everything looks oh, just perfect here. And of course, Psylocke. Cannot go wrong with Psylocke. 
Guys, make sure to check out my new action figure by TB League, Bison, Tricity, coming in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned and subscribe. Follow for updates. And here is this amazing comic book joker right here. Look at that face, guys. Super, super awesome detail. Really, really great work here. Captain America comic book edition. Really nice. This is these are sideshow exclusives here. But look at that detail on there. Great face too. Magneto, Luke Cage. And I just got this one, which is absolutely outstanding. Actually, no, uh, I did not get this one. This is actually really nice. This is the Sideshow version, which has a little bit more of a stylistic feel to it. Um, I got the Hot Toys version, which is a, a, a more realistic, accurate uh, version, less stylistic. Um, though, I mean, this is outstanding, but next to the Hot Toys uh, version, that, that's like super photo real. Lando looks great. And of course, got this on pre-order. It is young Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not super young, but middle-aged. Very good, kind of between the Ewan McGregor and the Alec Guinness version. A hybrid, and I just think it looks outstanding. Just super nice. And of course our favorite, Bubba Fett. And some amazing statues right over here. Check this out, back to Hot Toys. Look who we have. Dang. No way, I can't be the one. I am the one, I'm not the one. I am the one. That's right, Keanu Reeves, John Wick. Really outstanding. You guys can see my other video where I met Keanu Reeves when he was filming John Wick 3. And check out Alita. This actually looks really cool. I mean, look at the detail, guys. I still think it, the eyes look kind of weird, but I know they did that intentionally. It works for animation, but I don't know that it translates when you're trying to make it photo real. Here's Django Fett, guys. And this awesome airborne trooper. And this is an incredible version of Darth Maul that they've done here. I mean, that is probably the most expressive face that they have ever made. The detail is insane. Yeah. It's all human. Look at that, guys. You can tell his breath stinks. <laughs> it almost looks real, like, me blowing up like that. It almost looks like a person. Yeah. It's dope. It's hard to get an image without the reflection. Yeah, because of the glass. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you gotta put it like directly against it. That's get, pretty good. I guess good it helps shot. that you have that sim, so. Because my shit is no. fucked. John, <laughs> John Wick on this side. And over here, of course, is Anakin. I gotta get a picture. Oh, 
Oh, go for it, Spidey. <laughs> and this is the premium format Aspen. Created by Mike Turner. God rest his soul, he was an amazing comic book artist who we lost far, be far before his time. Went far too soon. Great artist, great designer, best known for Witchblade with Mark Silvestri. Love the twist there in this, this is amazing. This is Grace. And finally, guys, we're coming to the end of the video right here with the Queen Alien. And it is huge. Guys, this has been Sideshow. Please make sure to follow and subscribe for updates. This has been comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White from BeyondComics.tv. Make sure to follow and subscribe. Check out the other videos from Comic Con. The next one's going to be Mezco, as they say in comics, to be continued. Peace.